More than a dozen councils across the country, including York and North Yorkshire, are opposing government plans to change the way fracking applications are decided. There's concern this could lead to more fracking sites going ahead in local communities. Three years ago, North Yorkshire County Council approved a company's plans to frack in Rydale, although drilling is still yet to begin there. The government's considering taking away decision-making from local councils. Conservative MP Kevin Hollinrake is in favour of using fracking technology, but says local communities should decide where the test wells go. Done a good local plan in North Yorkshire to protect the landscape. If that decision making is taken away from North Yorkshire, I'd be very worried about controlling that number number of well pads. So, in short, I'm against it. BBC Radio York. Now, councils representing over 8 million people in England, which includes North Yorkshire and York, have said they are opposed to plans that could see local authorities excluded from making decisions about new fracking applications. The government's currently deciding whether applications for shale gas testing should be given fast-track status. I know. Are you thinking the fear is upon you? Well, the government says local views on fracking developments will always be considered, but... Campaigners claim the proposed changes could actually see some areas swamped with shale gas testing sites. The North Yorkshire and Lake District National Park authorities have also voiced opposition to the proposals. Well, David Rhodes has been looking into this story for us this morning. Uh, Good morning, David. Morning, Georgie. Now, at the moment, what happens when a company wants to frack for shale? There's a very long process and it involves lots of different councils. So here in North Yorkshire, you'd have North Yorkshire County Council, you'd have the National Park Authority, you'd have Rydale Council, maybe York City Council as well, all involved in in the application process. And it would be local councillors who would make the decision. This proposal from the government would, if it goes ahead, alter that. So that these planning applications for test sites would be given fast track status. They would be given permitted development status, which is the same as if someone wants to put up a small extension in in their back garden it would give the application presumed consent so it would basically take a local decision making out of the process local councils would still be consulted about the application but they wouldn't be in a position to actually hold a vote and oppose or approve any future application for a testing site goodness me so what is the idea behind the change in the rules then if councils can't actually directly have a, a, a say Well, the government is in favour of the fracking industry because it wants to secure, they say, a a potential future energy source. We currently import 60% of all the gas we use here in the UK and the government wants to make it easier to find out whether there's a lot of shale gas underneath this country that we could potentially extract and, you know, secure our future energy policy on. And that is why they are trying to, some would say, make it easier for companies to test for fracking. Now I should say it's only this these changes will only impact on test sites. If you wanted to actually extract shale gas, you would need a full planning permission from a local council for that. But local campaigners say that even a test site can bring, shall we say, hardship to their local area because there would be lots of lorry movements and there is a big infrastructure when it comes to a test site. But again, the the government is saying, look, we're not going to ignore local views. They just want to make some rule changes potentially if these proposals get the go ahead. Right. And when do we know if these proposals will get the go ahead, these planning rules? Um, There is the small issue of Brexit. Um, So Whitehall is a little busy at the moment. There's lots of opposition from the back benches as well. The likes of Kevin Hollinrake and Rachel Maskell have been against this proposal when it comes to these rule changes. The Ministry of Housing, Communities and Local Government say that they're currently considering the feedback they've got from their consultation and a decision could be made sometime in 2019. 